the Democratic leadership literally moments ago just wrapped up a press conference uh, talking about this bill, as you can imagine, extolling the virtues of this bill, talking about how they believe it is fiscally responsible and uh, will go a long way to uh, covering millions of Americans who don't have coverage. Uh, but, you know, we do want to break down a little bit more of what we know because it is important to note that even at this hour, we are still waiting for the details of this bill. They were supposed to uh, release it on the web. It is not there yet. But let me go through a little bit of what we know. First, in the cost, you mentioned some of that, John. Uh, the estimated cost, we were told by a Democratic, by several Democratic sources at this point, is $849 billion. They say, according to a preliminary estimate by the Congressional Budget Office, it would reduce the deficit by $127 billion, cover 94 percent of Americans, and that would include 31 million people who are currently uninsured. Let's go through some of the details of what we do now, and this is from uh, senators who are coming out of a briefing that happened this evening and other sources. First of all, public option. It would have a public option in it and would allow states to opt out of that public option. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, there would be a mandate. Individuals would have to get insurance coverage and face a penalty if they don't get it, most Americans, that is. How would it be paid for? Well, in part, a tax on high-cost insurance plans and also a, a little bit of a, a new bit of information on how uh, this bill would be paid for, a new idea, I should say. It would increase the Medicare payroll tax for people who make over $250,000. Increase it just a little bit, but uh, they believe that that would do, go a long way to raising revenue to pay for this bill. So that's what we know right now. But it is very interesting, even at this late hour, 7 o'clock Eastern, we still do not have the actual bill. We're waiting for that to go on the web any minute. Uh, on that Medicare payroll tax, I think 1.95% exactly. is, the, is the amount of increase, but they're staying away from any large income tax increase, which is what the House has been considering. Yep. Does, does Senator Reid have the 60 votes he needs here even to bring this to the floor for debate? That is the open question, because what that means, as you know, is that every single one of the senators who uh, caucus with the Democrats, who consider themselves effectively Democrats, they are going to have to vote yes. And there are three uh, conservative Democrats, moderate Democrats from conservative states is probably the best way to describe them. Blanche Lincoln of Arkansas, Ben Nelson uh, of, of of Nebraska, and then you, there you see Mary Landrieu in the middle there. All three of them have been reluctant to say that they will vote yes for various reasons, even to start debate. So what happened earlier today was the Senate Majority Leader summoned all of them into his office before he brief the broader Democratic caucus and uh, tried to convince them that this is the right way to go. They came out of the caucus. They spoke to our, uh, our own Ted Barrett and uh, sounded positive, but it's still not entirely clear whether they will vote yes. If any one of them vote, votes no, this whole bill could be sunk even before it starts.